people need Facebook more. followers. One is uh, the playground of Satan, <laughs> and the other is uh, heavenly. You know who would know about this is Richard Michalis, because he, he he's seen everything in the world from fires and floods, volcanoes erupting, earthquakes, dogs and cats living together. He would surely have an opinion about ketchup on, on potato chips. Do you, Richard? Pat, Denny, are we talking about ketchup, ketchup fast. on on ketchup on potato yes, chips. Yes, we are, yes, Richard. Mm-hmm. Please tell me tell me where I've, you fall. <laughs> I've I've tried it. I would probably lean more towards mayonnaise or mustard. Oh gosh. Yeah, well, you yeah. really you're oh, an out, I, 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 Richard, you are an outlier. Richard, on you this need one. to get out more, son. Yeah. All right, <laughs> All right we're I getting ready for why, but... we're getting ready for flood season. Are you guys ready? You know, we are, and we've been busy with a lot of the cold weather activity, and we've been busy with a lot of referrals from that home show at the fairgrounds. So um, I don't know if we'll get cold enough to freeze again. I, I think they're talking, you know, below 10 degrees next week. Now, how do you guys budget in that groundhog? <laughs> I mean, you're is that about the, is that part of your to, is that your you're talking part about of, the additional six weeks of rent. yeah? I, I'm I'm just saying, like, when is there uh, <laughs> something in your budget for the groundhog? Heck, heck yes, there is. Matter of fact, <laughs> uh, out of the last 118 years, what is it? Only 12 times he's seen his shadow, or hasn't seen his shadow. Or? Yeah, well, they do it in the middle of the night. No wonder that you know. Yeah, well, there's no sun anyway. Yeah, but, no uh, kidding. Yeah, I, I'm 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 excited. I guess that you know, spring's coming, but I'm not excited that. Um, so then you, you know, get into so some storms. Cold. Yeah, yeah, it is cold, and it is. It looks like uh, got some uh, snow on tap for uh, a little bit this weekend, Tomorrow, and then maybe? then yeah. possible well, Monday night into Wednesday morning, and as another system comes through. Now, so. Richard, our forecast back in I think it was October. Pat and I said that it was going to be brutal to begin with, and then it was going to moderate out into. And I think, no, that was Dick said it was going to moderate into February. So hopefully we'll get some warmer weather. Is that the farm, Farmer's Almanac? No, no, no. That's, no that, that was, was uh, Dick that was based on uh, squirrel's tails, uh, persi- Sept- persimmon <laughs> seeds. And septic tank flies. That's, and hornet's nest. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, thought, I, I knew it was more scientific. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While everybody else is uh, <laughs> trying to measure uh, ocean water uh, thousands and thousands right. of miles away, it's like, what the hell are they thinking? I've talked to Wilkes about this. It's like, I said, have you ever looked at the flies on a septic tank? And he shakes his head. No. So, hey, Richard, no. earlier we had a question from a fellow who was putting in a wood-burning stove. How often okay. do, you, do you go into disasters that involved wood-burning stoves? Do you get into those really often? You, you know, not very often anymore because insurance companies typically will not write insurance uh, if they see or know that there's a wood-burning stove in a home. Really? And they shied away from the, oh, yes. Wow. And, Things like trampolines in the yards. I mean, they have risk managers that look into all that. So um, for years now, I, I don't think I've seen wood-burning stoves out there simply because I think a lot of homeowners, if, they're, mm. if their agents are aware of it, they won't write the insurance. If the stove is in, if it's an insert into the fireplace, they're a little bit Oh, I think that's forgiving. a different story. Yeah, that's yeah, a I different that's story. a different story but, completely. But, I was thinking of more of the freestanding. That's exactly right. Do it your, do it yourselfers that don't have, you know, the adequate protection with oh, you know, fireproof flooring and walls around it, yeah. things like that. Mm, and that kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking we're redoing our backyard. I was thinking about doing one of those human cannonball things. I'm thinking uh, maybe I <laughs> Or a water not, cannon or something. Yeah. Not, so. Uh, Richard, well, stay busy. You know, we uh, we talked, you know, last night I was talking uh, when I was doing one of your spots. Last night, about midnight, there was fire trucks like crazy out right in front of our house because the, the neighbor across the street. But, man, did that bring back memories. Sully had Seeing a panic all attack. Of the, yeah, memories, I did. Sure. I yeah. did. I did. And uh, But, you know, our house looks great. It really does. And we're, we couldn't be more thrilled. Well, I'm waiting for the invitation for the pool party this summer. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. We're almost getting done with that. Almost. Almost. Richard, thanks for spending a little time with us. It's the Michelis Corporation, the number 844-FIXED-INDY. They are available 24-7, 365. The Michelis Corporation, construct, renovate, restore.